Okay, everyone. Um, happy Monday. It's the episode. You know, it's the first like 10, 15 minutes leading into my episodes being released today. It's like 11 o'clock at night. I think my kids are still up. We've been all day at the shore. We didn't go to bed till late. I woke up at six. I'm exhausted. So bear with me. You're going to hear me introduce. Don't mind. I've still been in my bathing suit all day. TJ Maxx. Yeah, TJ Maxx. And, um, the bathing suit, so just bear with me. Hi, everyone. So tired. Here we go. I want to talk about this this whole weekend, the lunar eclipse, everything, and tie it into my weekend um, at the shore, right? Help maybe give you guys some descriptions. So here we go. Hey, everyone. Happy Monday. Welcome back to the Hair Healer Podcast. I hope everyone had a fabulous weekend. I know we had a lot of intense energies leading up the last couple weeks, but particularly I know for me in my own personal life this week, and I can already, now they're getting over the hump of the lunar eclipse and the full moon, I can kind of feel, all right, I'm just relaxing. This past weekend, I went down the shore, I went to Wildwood Crest, and of course, I have Venus in Cancer, and it's in retrograde, and I was born during Venus retrograde. I just like needed to be at the ocean, right? Cancer's and crab, an ocean sign. And Venus, I rejoice. I find beauty. I relax. I relax the creativeness in myself down the shore. So I got to be there, but it, <laughs> it definitely was not a smooth weekend. I can promise you that at all. And so this past weekend, we had the full moon lunar eclipse in the sign of Sagittarius, a fire sign, right? So it was really intense. The last the past six months, we had a lot of things building, right? And it just imagine it just, to me, all the energy is just sort of melted into one and just blew up this whole weekend is what it sort of felt like to me. And, you know, I was busy all day Saturday. I finally got down the shore like 11 o'clock. And so one of the first things that happened when I got down there, which is actually totally freaky, um, scary i'm not sure what happened with this one thing but a woman maybe it was like a it um there's three stories to where we we're staying and a woman came out one room above us and uh the kids and i and she started again it's not yet it's not funny she started yelling help and opened the door and at that moment a man grabbed her and grabbed her back in and slammed the door so obviously you know i called 911 and some other people had seen and the police got there and he jumped out the window they had dogs trying to find him and they took her away so i prayed for her i'm not sure what happened but um right there sort of these kind of crazy these kind of crazy energies and then the next day there was a fight on the parking lot at like eight in the morning i said oh my god what is going on again five we had it square we had the sun square Mars also. So again, Mars is very, um, and right, Sagittarius also, uh, also a fire sign also just going with it. So we had just a lot of aggressions and, and everyone was just tense and fighting and things were going back and forth. So those things first off happened. Then I don't know if you were following along. Um, I thought my kid, I made them come out and look at the moon with me at like midnight, put them in their room. I left to go get something and I thought that they locked me out. And so I was pounding and screaming on someone's door at one in the morning and these lovebirds opened up the door. They were not very happy or loving towards me, even though I apologized. I said, oh my God, what a week. Again, everything was blocked. My bank caught on fire when I tried to go there. It was just such a crazy week. We get to the shore. Okay, we have a good time. I'm sunburnt, of course. And I'm just trying to get home, okay? And we lost the effing car. We couldn't find the car for I don't know how long. Driving around, and ironically, around the same time 10 years ago, and this memory kept on, came up on Facebook, and I remember it, I was lost in New York City tripping my balls off for about nine hours. And it weirdly enough reminded me of that actually. And I just like, I could not find it at all whatsoever. So it was just all in all crazy day. We finally had to venture losing again, miscommunication down the shore, Mercury travel, everything was like off. I got off the three wrong exits on the way home. One, cause I was trying to voice something. One, I wasn't paying attention and missed the GPS. And one, my GPS rerouted me and didn't mean to another one. My phone just like stopped working. So again, a lot, a lot of it's about bringing awareness to the stuff and just sort of like, okay, whatever. I flowed with it. Cause ironically, everything else kind of worked at one point. I forgot money somewhere and they, it's just like everything else already worked out because what this teaches us, if we can't get through to something plan one, there's going to be plan two, three or four or A, B, and C, you know, we just have to be patient and just relax and just try to go through it. So again, it was definitely, my kids were kind of crazy. It was definitely a very adventurous week, watching it all play out, 
Um, but again, we rode the wave together and <laughs> made it to the other side and bring and just try to laugh. I feel like I'm just rambling on right now because I'm so exhausted, but it was fun. Nevertheless, it was definitely intense fire. I could see a lot of things coming, a lot of things brewing. Um, let me jump into this episode. I hope everyone enjoyed that brief description of like how it all came through. I hope that was good. Um, but, oh, you know what? Let me tell you something else that happened to me with Venus retrograde right now and is opposite the moon, okay? It was, um, which isn't always great, but it actually, some awareness of new ways for me to practice self-care came to me this weekend, right? Some new awarenesses and, and new ways that I personally need to self-care where I'm lacking mentally, spiritually, and physically. So pay attention to those things, come up and go with them. So let me jump into today's episode with Joe Russ, and I'm so excited, Joe Russ again. This is the third, fourth episode with one of my brother's friends who also I grew up with have known me since I don't remember my life without them. My brother was eight years older. They were like my brothers and they would run around the golf course and make movies and I was just the little sister always trying to kiss them. Um, I'm really excited. Joe has been out in LA now for maybe 15 years and right now he works for um, This Is Us, I, ABC on there. It's a really good show. He's one of the... Um, one of the production managers, production assistants. I need to get that right. I'm sorry. I'm doing again. I'm doing that tonight. I will get this back and re-listen to the episode. So please forgive me, Joe. Please forgive me if I say that wrong. But again, I'm doing this last minute. You know me. And again, I'm really excited. We talk about that. We talk about what's left of the quarantine in LA. We talk about growing up on the golf course with me, our childhood memories. We talk about again what this industry is like for. Um, the movie industry, what will be the future of media, the movie, the movies, production, everything, what will be the future? So I'm really excited about this episode. And I would just want to say also one more thing. Um, the write up in the Philadelphia Inquirer came out yesterday. So if you need a copy and you want to sign, just let me know. Just kidding. But thank you everyone who's reached out to congratulate me about that. I'm really, really happy. And honestly, the uh, people that have reached out from watching it, from reading it in the paper. I'm actually was very surprised how many people still read the paper. So that was awesome too. Thank you everyone for your support. I love you guys. So if I have any new listeners, welcome. I'm excited. Remember this is place of love and non-judgment and a little bit of craziness. Um, if you have a story, suggestion, anything, please feel free to reach out to me, the hair healer podcast. Um, at yahoo.com and follow me on Instagram at the hair healer 1111. Please like, um, rate, review, subscribe to whatever you listen to this on that gets the word out on the Hair Healer Podcast. Share this with someone. Um, let me jump into this episode. I hope everyone has a fabulous day, gets out and enjoys the weather and find something to be grateful for today. One thing, just find one thing and ride it out. Use that, use that one thing as your mantra for the day. All right. Love you guys. Bye. That wasn't too bad. Sorry, I just rambled. Now I think I can finally pass out. Happy Monday, everyone.